Our house build is picking up speed as we push for our certificate of occupancy. It's going to be a busy next few days. We're taking on a huge shiplapping project, but even though we've done this one time before, we're still learning as we go. You never know if it's going to fit. And Cameron shows up to lend a hand and give the build an extra boost. It is fun to see progress happening like this in the house. Be sure to stick around to the end of this episode to catch a major milestone. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. We are so pumped for today. We have Cameron here and our kids are out of town and we are going to work super hard to shiplap their rooms so when they get back, they have this huge transformation and they can see that their rooms are coming together. Ryan and I knew that Cameron was coming so we did a ton of prep work so we can make the most use out of the time we have with him. We put in a ton of rock wool yesterday so we could get those supplies off of the floor and where they need to be so they're not in our space. We have been cleaning up those back two rooms and Ryan pre-cut a ton of shiplap pieces already so we can put all of those to use quickly. All right guys it's gonna be a busy next few days and we are excited to take you along for the ride. Are we just gonna like kind of stack together the pile and try to lift the whole thing? As many as we can. I don't know if like the whole pile is doable. I think it is. Okay. We'll see. I guess You hold this mouth, I'll hold your hand Take this love around the world Don't mind those crows buzzing around your head Nothing's gonna hurt your girl I believe you're here for a while Then we die But I believe this love is strong Belong to my dad. I know just the thing to do. Don't mind the law, hard on our heels. No one's gonna come for you. I believe we're here for a while. Then we die. But I believe this love is stronger than you and I. I believe. You never know if it's gonna fit. <laughs> oh yeah. Good enough. Good morning. We are back on the build. Cameron is still here for one more day, so we are still working on shiplapping those two back rooms. Yesterday, the guys each got a wall done on each room. That wall also had rock wool going in between it because it is the wall that separates the two rooms. Today, we're shooting to get the two back walls done in each room. So I am cutting the remaining pieces of shiplap they need for those walls. The guys are in there working and 
I'm just hoping this is another smooth day with lots of progress in it because it is fun to see progress happening like this in the house. Ryan and Cameron have been flying on the walls in both these bedrooms. We have all three complete walls done in my daughter's room. We still need to get the closet going, but this is so awesome to see it like this. And they are finishing up the final wall in my son's room right now. You saw us put in a ton of work on the kids' back bedrooms here, and we got all three of these walls completed. The kids are actually out of town, spending some time with their aunt and uncle, and we really want to surprise them with the rooms making a major transformation. So the way it is right now, they're going to be completely surprised, but I'm going to set up their lights on the side here. So there's actually three sconce lights that are positioned all the way around the room. The colors of them aren't what we're going to have put up permanently, but for a temporary lighting solution, we're going to put them up. The kids will be able to kind of get a picture of what it's going to look like. But we did pick out their favorite lights that they picked out from Home Depot, and we're going to get those installed up in the ceiling. And I think they're going to be really surprised. So I'm going to get those wired up and so they're all ready for when the kids get back home in a couple days.
It is Sunday morning and Sarah is actually away from the house, away from the build to go pick up our kids. They were spending some time with their aunt and uncle. And while they're away, I'm gonna try to get our water hooked up to our house. Up until now, we've had all the plumbing tested, we've pressure tested it, but we haven't connected our main line to the house. And now that we have the tub installed, I'd really like to test that and make sure all the fittings are working, everything is leak proof. So while they're away, I have the water turned off. I'm going to go under the house, make that connection, which cross my fingers, it should be pretty simple and hopefully have that all done by the time they come back. So I'm gonna get busy. It's supposed to get a little bit hot today. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get that done before it gets too hot below the house or in the house. I'm down here under the house, right where our main water line is coming in from through the foundation. And then here is where our three quarter inch main line PEX is gonna tie in there. So we had this cut long, it goes all the way back to here. I'm gonna cut this back to the poly and then connect uh, a T on there that'll go up. I'm gonna leave a three quarter inch T that has a plug on it. I'm gonna attach a valve or a stopper for now because we may extend to a down building later on in the future. And that way then I'll already have the T in place so I don't need to rebuild the system. So I'm gonna get busy getting this cut back and see if we can get this knocked out pretty quickly. All right, I got all the water drained out of the line. Now I should be good to take off, cut off the fitting, take off my assembly, and then, then we should be able to connect the permanent PEX fitting. It's a little hotter under the house than I remember it being. Guess I've got spoiled by that air conditioning. All right, I was able to get that line cut back to here. Now I'm gonna reinsert my reducer with my valve on here. Hopefully get it into the poly pipe so I can reconnect it and then I'll be able to attach my T so we can connect it up to the PEX. Alright, let's let's go let's go see these rooms. Are they like all like done and stuff? And did you notice something else? That yeah, the I, AC I thought is that going. AC? AC? Hog, AC. Yeah, you guys are about ready to walk in to wait for us. Don't go into your rooms. Oh, God, it's a lock is it locked up. Cameron put that on. Handle. Isn't that nice? Is it wow. I don't think it's gonna be our permanent yeah. one. Well, like, okay. Still like, what is handle? I see some wood wall. I see wall. Doesn't it feel in the grate in here? It's pretty cold. I'm going to Why don't you? It's like, it's like cut off. Like from this oh, wall. It's so look, look. Oh, it, oh, it lights up. 
Is that cool? It's on the thing. And look, it comes with your mind. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, that do you love your light fixture? Oh, yeah. yeah. My light's better. Can I see your room? What got a lot of light? Turn it on, show her what I don't, I don't know how much. There's a light switch it's on behind here. the, uh, you just, behind me. Sorry, you still have some supplies in your room, but we'll get them out pretty quick. Oh, what's this light? It does your sconce lights. They're going to be the ones that are on the wall once we get those on. But we had to get some special screws for them. Oh, and you got the infinity light. So I don't want water coming out until... Until we tell it to. Because we okay. want to basically have the valve down below open and no water coming out anywhere. And then listen, make sure we don't, we're not hearing uh, anything up above, any water coming out up above. Okay. I hear water. Hey, Owen, will you run upstairs to the upstairs bathroom? Everything is good. Everything's holding. Do you have a leak? Do we have a spot down there from the water heater? Yeah. All right. Our water was filling up into our PEX lines, and we have a spot where the hot water line is getting filled, which we don't want right now because we don't have all those lines in the correct spots because we don't have our hot water heater hicked up. So anyway, we have to figure that out quick before we can actually fill the tub and check it out. All right, Ryan got caps on the PEX lines where he needed them. We are gonna try this one more time. Okay, nothing exciting is happen, happening, which is good. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like I stopped hearing water. Okay, I'm gonna run upstairs. I think we're all good though. I think now we'll be able to fill our tub, make sure it's not leaking anywhere. My gosh, guys, we're like close to things happening. Yeah, everything's all good up here. Ooh, it's all full of water. That is so cool. I'm gonna wash full loads of laundry. When I turn this, water should come out. Water's gonna come out? Yeah, I took on rocks. Wow. No leaks at this point? Yeah, I was gonna... No leaks yet. Turn this on, water should come out of the tub spout. And then, if we hit the diverter... Oh man. way cooler than electricity, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so close. So there should be definitely be consistent water going into it now. Okay, I don't see any leaks. Nice. It looks like we don't have any leaks on our overflow drain, all the plumbing that we did for that. Now Ryan's gonna go down below and I'm gonna hit the drain on the bathtub so he can just double check all that. But we're looking pretty good. Scratch that original plan. We're gonna leave the water sitting in the bathtub for a few hours so then we can actually go down, check, make sure there's just no leaks when the water is just standing in it. And then we'll drain it and check that last part. Right now though, we're up to set up the pool for the summer. 